Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for August. See what's going on, what's good, what's popping with you guys today. All right, uh, Taurus. So we're going to get into three rows for you. All right. Your first row today, Taurus, we're going to be talking about the persons on your mind. All right. It could be romantic uh, relationship, something platonic, something family related. Could be business, darling. All I know is not my business to know what type of relationship it is. Right. And then in your second row, Taurus, we're going to be talking about uh, what you need to hear today. This could serve as uh, some confirmation for some of, the, uh, some of the things you've been experiencing or suspecting, or it could just be some guidance, all right, to get you back on track today, Taurus, all right? And then you're in your third row, Taurus, we're just going to get into some predictions for you. As I always say, and as I'm sure you've already heard, darling, right, the future is never solid, but if you continue down the same path here, I can get a pretty good idea what's going to happen for you, all right? So let's get into this here today, Taurus. All right, let's start out with your major arcana card for today. All right, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus, if you enjoy this reading today. And be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign. So what y'all got here, Taurus? Y'all got the world card coming in here, the final card in the major arcana, Taurus, all right? The world card represents the closure of a cycle to begin a new one. And so how this is going to be reflecting all three of your rows today, Taurus, this is like that sense of where it's like you're ending a phase here. Even if you look at the artwork of this here, uh, Taurus, it's like, I feel like for many of you guys here, you guys up until a certain point have felt as if like there's been this pressure to act a certain type of way or to do certain things in your life, right, Taurus? Maybe like you always were just worried about like dancing around people's sensitivities or perhaps like you've lived your life for other people because it's like you think like they base success off of stuff that you don't f f find personally fulfilling for you, Taurus. I don't know. I kind of like this for you. I feel like this is like the ending of a phase, Taurus, where y'all are no longer people pleasing. I kind of see this in a sense, honestly, Taurus, where it's just like, um, I wouldn't be surprised if you piss some people off because I just see you guys being very brutally honest with people that need to hear about themselves, Taurus. All right. I feel like for you, the thing about it is it's like, I never want to say that you're like a floor mat, but I feel as if it's like people take you for granted, Taurus, for like how many chances you would give people and you're like people are in for a rude awakening for like how you're going to be presenting yourself in the coming days. All right. That's what I really feel for you. All right. So let's get into the, uh, the person that's on your mind today here, Taurus. All right. Girl, don't focus on me, honey. Uh, <laughs> you have the strength card, Knight of Swords here with the two of wands coming in here. All right, Taurus. So this is giving me somebody where it's like you probably feel like you've been going through some whiplash with this person here where it's like the days that y'all are good, y'all are fabulous. Right. But then there's just like other days when it comes to this connection here where it feels as if like y'all take 10 steps back. Right. It always feels as if initially that it's promising and then something always seemingly happens towards that uh, complicates things. I kind of get like this issue here, Taurus, where it's just like. I think I said the three, uh, two of wands with this. This is actually the three of wands. My bad with that. But I feel like for you, Taurus, it's like you've observed the behavior of this person, right? That maybe they even have said, Taurus, where they're just like, oh, I'll change. I'll work on things, da, 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 da. And it still never has amounted to anything, Taurus. And you're just kind of left here and just like, all right, darling, like I can acknowledge that like we're all on our own journey here, but something has to give. Like improvement needs to happen here because you don't want to continue on with the same cycles. I feel like when it comes to this person, Taurus, you may love them, right? Because I do see it's a really hard choice for you to accept, Taurus, to be like, uh, to kind of just call this person out and kind of give them this tough love. Like you see this potential in them, but you're just like, all right, darling, like enough's enough. Things are getting stale with this. Like the change isn't happening that needs to be happening. The promises are not being fulfilled here, uh, Taurus. And so I feel like for you guys here, you're just finally speaking your truth. You're speaking your truth on this because you're just like, you know what, like, I can't be dealing with this anymore, right? For some of you Tauruses, uh, you're seeing how they act with other people, but they don't act that same way with you, all right? For others of you, Taurus, I kind of see this sense of where people are going to be coming into your life, Taurus, to show you, like, how good people should be acting in your life, how... Um, really just like you're going to be introduced to Taurus to people that no longer disappoint you and because of that like it's the people that you've always given like a million chances to that you're at this point where you're just like okay now like this isn't you know 
you know it's that sense of where it's like you acknowledge there's plenty of fish in the sea so why are you still entertaining this right so let's see uh the outcome of this here as, if things continue on in this way nine of wands i feel like the part of the problem when it comes to this connection here taurus is that this person it's they're too stubborn in their own way it's like they refuse to see the truth that isn't anything beyond their truth right it's like you've tried to get them to see your side of things you tried to get them to understand things but it's like and Unless it's on 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 their terms of like their comfort level they won't acknowledge it it's almost as if uh towards like this person's trying so hard to remain blind to the truth th so they don't hurt their own feelings and i kind of feel like for you taurus you're going to be hurting their feelings here <laughs> a little bit magician energy coming in here and then let's get this other one page of pentacles pages brings forth good news here taurus all right or not good i mean it doesn't always mean good news it just means news in general new energy uh taurus <laughs> but i just see how this progression of this connection here where it's just like I feel like this person is a little bit just too stuck in their own personal reality to see anything else, Taurus. And I feel like even if you try to reach out to them, it just is going to just be met with more stubbornness, like that sense of not wanting to take accountability, Taurus. Very much so that energy where it's just like this feels like a waste of time, right? I feel like for you, you've seen the red flags time and time and time and time again. You're realizing that they're not going to change. How long have you been dealing with this year, Taurus, right? This better be someone that's like, I mean, it's not a really a good thing doors but it's like the type of energy that i get with this is like that stubborn family member that it's like king of cups energy it's like they've never matured all right maybe they always use excuses about like um what's happened to them or just i don't know i feel like this person just hasn't fully developed with themselves here taurus and i'm gonna be very honest here i still consistently get this message here for you taurus where it's like i feel like your path is going to align you with people of a much higher quality that will then showcase to you like how immature this energy is or just how you know it's almost like you'll realize like how lovable you actually are taurus and that it's not a you thing it's a them thing right and my regulars already know taurus like i'm very big on self-accountability and so like i always am trying to figure out how we can like take a reading and further ourselves rather than make it about the other person here but truly here taurus and i know this has been going on for a while now i'm about to write down the timestamp, so don't worry about that but i know it's been going on for a while now taurus where it's like you've given this person so many different chances here and they always get met with like failure you know sometimes they show like the uh, and i feel like for, for some of you tourists it's like the only reason why you've entertained this for as long as you have is because perhaps like with that knight of swords energy maybe they've shown the potential in uh in themselves or maybe there's like a one week where it's just like oh y'all are talking things are looking promising things are progressing and then they just go back to their old ways the old patterns here and especially because of this world card here Taurus right there right it's the closure recycle to begin a new one right so again I really get like this emphasis of where it's just like you're just really not gonna have time or energy to deal with this person anymore quite frankly all right so let's continue on here darling for what you need to hear today Taurus all right so y'all have this page of wands ten of cups here as well as the justice card that Libran energy here Taurus all right it's really interesting again you have another page card coming in really emphasizing the sense of good news coming for you here uh tours what you need to hear at this time is quite literally what i was uh, uh, emphasizing here where it's like some of y'all this new opportunity coming in is going to be coming in the shape of people all right i feel like for some of you tourists you need to be aware of where it's like while I acknowledge you're dealing with all this drama and stress with this, whatever the situation is, right? For many of you guys, this probably has turned you off from even wanting to connect with other people just because it's like, because of all this drama, you're just like, man, I'd rather just be an introvert than entertain any people and all that here. But I really do feel like what's coming into balance for you, Taurus, is that you're going to be around people that show you what your life could be without like always having to pick up the baggage of other people around you. I feel like for you, Taurus, you're going to be uh, relating to people quite a bit here. And especially with this Ten of Cups here, this gives me like an energy where it's just like you're finding you're you're making your own family you're making your own tribe maybe you've always felt as if like you're the third wheel in any type of uh relationship in your life friendships and stuff like that like you i feel like you've never felt as if that you belong and what's going to be coming towards in your in your life here taurus is that uh spirit is going to be aligning you with people 
that are part of like your soul tribe here. I don't like to say the soulmates and twin flames because it's such an overused thing, but I really do feel like your path is going to align you with some soul, uh, people of part of your soul tribe to let you know, Taurus, that you're not crazy. All right. I keep on hearing like the word validate uh, here, Taurus. And so I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to validate um, your experience here. <laughs> King of Wands coming in here. I even want to be saying here, uh, Taurus, I feel like there's some people in your life that are watching you from afar that really admire you. And I don't think you realize just how much you mean to other people here. All right. You're gathering attention from uh, many others here. Wheel of Fortune coming in here. And then we got, what is this here? Seven of Wands. And then even in the back of the deck here, Taurus, you got the Knight of Cups. So the story writes itself, darling, right? You're going to be having plenty of other options here. But the main problem here is, is like, I'm just more so worried. Girl, <laughs> I know you can't see it, but the window behind me, I just had this big old grasshopper just like slam into my window <laughs> but um the common theme here Taurus, is like you've been you've been dealing with this pattern of unfulfilling connections unfulfilling relationships in your life here and i feel like that has made you almost cynical towards new connections that are going to be coming in for you here all right i feel like the main problem that you need to be working on Taurus, is this king of wands and accepting like <sighs> like i feel like some of y'all's flames have been dimmed so much because of who it is that you've been around and i feel like for many of you tourists the more that you come out of your shell the more that you just start being more unapologetically yourself is what i see with this here that's how you get the wheel of fortune turning in your favor to attract people part of your tribe here Taurus. for many of you guys the patterns that you have been in has just been trying to make trying to make certain relationships be fulfilling when they're just not meant for you right and sometimes it's the toughest pill to swallow, Taurus, when you realize that certain family members by blood, perhaps, are just not going to be part of your soul tribe here, all right? But I do get, like, this distinction here. I mean, obviously, with this Knight of Cups here, like, there's just, I feel like there's a connection trying to come in strong here. I really do feel that way that i want you guys to be open to because it's like at the as that saying goes darling taurus is like when one door closes another one opens right and especially because of that world card coming in here representing all three of these rows here it's like you're closing out a cycle and beginning something new shortly after beginning that new fool's journey all right so if you've been clinging on to taurus like certain relationships that you've been banking on their potential but it's never actually lived up to its potential let them go taurus if you've been entertaining like certain family members just because their family but they just are not on a com same wavelength as you let them go because you're going to be building like your own again like your own little family there even if they're not by blood i feel like you guys are starting to um align your path with people that are just going to be that just get you all right that validate your experiences that validate how you see the world here taurus all right so i really take this as don't be afraid of just letting people go here taurus all right that's really what i get with that is don't be afraid of letting people go all right so let's get into your predictions now darling all right taurus so you have the six of wands the king of swords here with this death energy here darling all right predictions that i see for you guys all right taurus i see you guys coming into this place of no longer questioning what it is that how you see certain people all right the guise is being lifted it's almost as if taurus like you've always had the intelligence you've always had this awareness about certain people about you know just situations in general taurus that you've never fully taken action on maybe you've always gaslit yourself into thinking that you're just being crazy because that's the thing Taurus I feel like you're and maybe I'm gassing y'all up a little bit too much here right but you know take a, take it as it is honey but I feel like for many of you Taurus is just like how you see the world is just vastly different than like how like your family members see the world or how just people in general like I feel like you're going to be aligning your path the more that you're open to just closing these doors that are no longer serving you anymore. You know, you have the six of wands here, which is my favorite card in the minor arcana. It represents fame and fortune. I'm not saying you're going to be famous and, you know, rich upon, upon all ends. It could be possible, right, Taurus? But the six of wands is like the card of public spotlight being recognized here. And it's not a coincidence that you're only being recognized by your light when you let go of certain things, right? With that death card that we have here, right? Like, it's your turn to 
to be, for example, like the main character. The last time I said the main character in a video for you, Taurus, like I had someone in the comments just go ballistic about it. Like they were so triggered by me saying it's like, oh, you're the main character, like or telling the uh, telling y'all Taurus that it's just like accept the fact that you're that you t are it, that it's okay for you to take up space too. Like someone went crazy, but I'm gonna say it again here, Taurus, and if you're the person that's watching it, honey how you doing but <laughs> truly here to us i feel like in your life here it's like the more that you're finally just accepting yourself as the king of swords not to say that you're better than another person or anything like that but it's like you're just seeing people for how they are seeing situations in general it doesn't even have to be about people you're just seeing certain situations and you're seeing it how you're just like you're deserving of more that it's your turn to be celebrated here um and so that's what i see for you here taurus all right even afterwards, we got this Ace of Pentacles in the back of the deck here, representing the stuff of where it's like, the, that's where the blockage has been coming in, right? We talk about the Wheel of Fortune. It's called the Wheel of Fortune, right? And people always just assume it's always just a positive card. But I always say, darling, the Wheel of Fortune can be turning for you or turning against you, right? By having this level of awareness, Taurus, and just like giving yourself the credit where credit is due, that's where doors open up even afterwards darling i mean you see it two of cups seven of cups here page of swords the story writes itself honey all right this talks about having options opening up for you taurus all right for new connections this talks about new communication page of swords all right in a social dynamic it's like again there's like this theme here even with like the king of wands or what have you it's like this consistent emphasis taurus where it's like there's certain people that have wanted to connect with you but for whatever the case is, they just haven't until the time, until like whatever the case is. So I won't be surprised, Taurus, as you're closing off certain connections, don't be surprised. And maybe you already know some of them. Some of you Tauruses, you could already know them. All right. I'm not, I don't really get, I feel like it's a mixture between just like new energies of people just like wanting to introduce themselves but i also get there are certain people that maybe you stopped talking to or haven't had much communication with but it's like now that you're kind of separating yourself from the crowd of people that are just not your match it's like certain people are now like coming more forward into your life here and wanting to talk to you Taurus, because they're just like oh, okay like you're not part of that crowd like your your own light and i feel like for some of you Tauruses, that's what you need to be aware about it's like the company that you keep whether it's right or wrong uh Taurus, right it's just reality it's just humans it's like the company that you keep i feel like people are associating you with that so it's just like they're just it's like they see you hanging out or talking to certain people and they're just like oh they don't, you know they tell themselves or whatever a certain type of thing here four swords energy the more that you heal the more that connections are going to be coming forward to you that actually celebrate your light rather than dimming your light and so that's really what i get for you taurus right so let me know how this is helpful to you taurus let me know um what this connection is about is this family darling i really do get like heavy like family dynamic or just like people in like your close circle i don't know but i love you so much taurus be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy it really helps me out a lot and it's completely free and book a reading with me on my website simplyvelka.com i love you so much darling bye taurus